Este video es presentado por el Sistema Ciencia Garza Educativa de la Universidad Autónoma del Estado de Hidalgo. Para mayor información, visítanos en www.uaeh.edu.mx. Gracias por aprender. Ok. Hello, everyone. My name is Javier Gonzalez, and I am an English teacher in high school number three from the Autonomous University from Hidalgo State. I am going to talk about uh, the, how to describe my town, and it belongs to the second unit of first semester, that is Idiomas 1, Inglés A1.1. So we're going to start with this presentation. Uh, what is the summary of this course? The thing is that we need to allow the students to express themselves in a foreign language, starting from the basics, that in this case is to be able to talk about themselves and in the, in the environment where they live. The objective this uh, course is going to be to be able to talk about your hometown, including a description of them and the location of each one of uh, the places that you can find in your place. Now, the vocabulary that we're going to use are the hometown places, the prepositions of place, and the grammatical point that is there is and there are. What are the things that you should know already? By now, you should be able to introduce yourself and others to different people, including your personal information, like last name, name, where do you live, what do you do, etc. I'm going to introduce my town, I'm going to present my town, and uh, that's the point. I want you to know how you are going to be able to do your activity. So uh, the pictures that you can see on the screen are from the place where I live, that is in this case, Real del Monte. Uh, in this presentation, I'm going to read the information about my town, and then we're going to go through different grammatical things. Well, my name is Javier. I live in Real del Monte. I love my town because it is a magic town like many other different places in Mexico. Real del Monte was a Spanish town where the founder of Nacional Monte de Piedad, Pedro de Romero de Terreros, lived. Then it was a British mining district. Real del Monte is a really peaceful and colorful town. There are three churches. The main one is in front of the main square downtown. There is a British cemetery. It is near my house. And Prince Charles and his wife were there. There are many stores where you can buy jewelry made of silver. Also, there are many hotels and restaurants around the town where you can taste the typical fruit from food from here, the pastas. In my town, there is a Y Institute, the Arts Institute. And you are welcome to visit my town anytime. Okay? So with this information, that's the point. I want you to do that. I want you to introduce yourself and to talk about your team. Now, how we are going to be doing this? To start doing the activity, we're going to require different vocabulary. In this case, the places of the town. Some examples of places that you can find, in this case, Pachuca, is the mall. The mall, some examples are galerias and explanada. Another one, it will be the cinema that are the most common ones, the ones that you can see here on the screen, and they are inside the mall. Another one, it will be the square. The most, the most uh, known places or squares in Pachuca are the uh, Juarez Square and the Independencia Square, where the Reloj Monumental is located. Then we have parks, the most uh, famous one in Pachuca, it will be the Ben Gurion Park, the Hidalgo Park, and the Pastor Park. Then we have different uh, places as well, that as the police station or the city hall. The city hall in Pachuca is Casa Rulli, which is located downtown as well. Then we have hospitals or schools. And other places that we can use to describe uh, the, the, the things that we can find in our towns are restaurants, grocery stores, the bed, 
Five Fighter Station, Market, like Primero de Mayo or Revolución, the supermarket, the post office, the banks, aquariums. I think we don't have aquariums in, in Pachuca, but uh, we are going to use the, the word. Then we have the bus station, that the most common one in Pachuca is the, the Tuso bus. So that it will be the bus station. Then the stationery. What is stationery? Where you can buy your notebooks, your books, uh, pencils, everything related to school. That is a stationery. And finally, we're going to have the drugstore where you can find your pills, medicine, or anything that you want for your personal health. Now, what, uh, now that we have this information, we're going to talk about our home. And the big questions, question is, what can I find in my hometown? To do that, we're going to use some vocabulary or some grammatical points that in this case is going to be the words there is and there are. That in Spanish, as it says here on the presentation, I. Okay, so, okay, there is and there are. We're going to use this information to talk about what things exist in a place, in our towns. There is, remember, it's for one object and a specific thing that exists in one place. And we're going to say a and an. One example, there is a hospital. It, be, it is because it exists in that place, only one. And there are, and where uh, there are, it's for uh, two or more things that exist in a place. Example, there are some schools. It is important for you to know that the sum, it's, you don't know the specific number. There are some, but you don't know the quantity. So we are going to use the word some for things that we don't know the exact number of things that exist in that place. Okay, so that it will be for the affirmative sentences. Now, uh, for the things that uh, don't exist in a, in a certain place, we're going to use isn't or aren't. That's exactly the same thing in singular, that is the isn't and they aren't for the plurals. But in this case, we are going to add a new word that it will be any, okay? The any is going to be expressed for things that don't exist in this, in this, in your towns, in my town. One example, it will be, there isn't any park or for plural, there aren't any banks. So that it will be the use for there is and there are in negative. And finally, we are going to go with the questions. Remember, the questions, we need to change the words. The verb to be is going to be at the beginning, so we can know that it's a question. And then we are going to use as well the any for the use of, a, of this a, there is, there are, but only with question. So it says, is there any library? Are there any shops? So just remember, the any is going to be used with singular and plural for negative and in questions. So in here at the bottom of the chart, you can see like a summary of everything that I explained in singular a or an. And uh, for plural some, and for singular and plural only in questions and in negatives, okay? So it's really important that we know this information because we are going to use it at the end when you uh, share your presentation with us. Now, we are going to make a bit of practice and in the map, in, on the screen you can see this map and that is the question, what places can you see on the picture? We're going to go with each one of them. For example, you can see a school, you can see zoo, a cafe, a food station or a restaurant and a park. You can see many things on this map. So using the things that we were doing in the previous activity, you are going to go like this. There is a zoo. Why only there is? Because it's only one and you can see it on the screen. Number two, there are houses. How many houses are, are there? There are many. So you, you just don't say the number, you just say there are houses. Number three, there is a cafe. 
how many cafes can you see on the screen? Only one. That is why we're using there is a cafe. And finally, there is a school. Where is the school? The school is in here and it's only one. That's why we are using only there is. Okay? Now let's go with the places that you cannot see on the screen or in the map. There isn't any bet. Remember, the use of any is to say something that doesn't exist in its place. That's, that's why there isn't any bet. Number two, there isn't any bank. You cannot see any bank on the screen. That's why there isn't any bank. On the screen, you cannot see any malls either. So there aren't any malls. Okay. So do you have any question about this? If you have questions, let's go again back to the there is and there are explanation and you can check out that information again. Now, where are those places located? For this information, we're going to need something that it's called prepositions of place. These prepositions in place are words that indicate the location of different objects. In this case, the places of the city. As you can see here on the slide, we have a cat and we have a box. So according to the position of the cat, it's the preposition that we are going to use. We have in, on, under, in front of, behind, next to, above, below, between, on the left, opposite, and on the right. So it's really important that we know those prepositions because we are going to use them to describe the places where uh, we can find the different locations in our hometowns or in our cities. So try to remember those prepositions. Let's go with a bit of practice again. The big question to know where is a, each place is the question that you have on the top. Where is there? In this case, we're going to go with the first one, that is, where is the fountain? The fountain, it's right here in the center on the picture. So we're going to say, the fountain is in the middle of the town. And that is the, the position where we can find that place, that fountain. Number two, the school, where is the school? Using the prepositions from the previous slide, we're going to say the school that it's right here is in front of the soccer field. Where is the soccer field? It's right here. But right now we're focusing only on the school. The school is in front of the soccer field, okay? The words that you can see here in bold are the prepositions, the ones that are indicating the place. Let's go with the next one. Where is the food restaurant? The food restaurant is right here, and the restaurant is next to the cafe, is next to, okay? Let's go with one more. Well, with two more. The zoo, where is the zoo? The zoo is behind the restaurant. Here is the restaurant, and the zoo is right behind it. And finally, we have the city hall. Remember, the city hall is, a, as in Pachuca, we have a Casa Rule, that is the city hall, and the city hall is next to the park. As you can see here on the slide, we have the park, and the city hall is right next to it. Okay, so let's continue. Uh, as I told you at the beginning, you are going to do your description about your hometown. Now is your turn to talk about your hometown. And I want to know how the place where you live is. So using all the information that we learned today, you are going to share with me that information. I want to know what places are there in your hometown, where are those places located, and I want to know more information about you. So you need to tell me what is your name, to introduce yourself, everything that you have been practicing. We're going to put it together so you can present your hometown and to introduce yourself. And that's all my presentation. Thank you for your attention.